Hey everybody, Brick and Brood here, and I'm really excited because today is a special day. I have a fellow AFOL stopping by today. I'm going to be able to show them my Lego city, show them my Lego collection, and just hang out and talk Lego. So uh, a lot of you guys already know him. He's a great guy. So uh, let's go see who came. So this is my Lego room, and oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yes, guy, right off the bat. There you go, the Falcon, eh? Good day, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. This is part two of my end of the February update. And I just wanted to share with you guys why it takes me a little longer to edit some of these videos. And I want to show you as much as I can along my Lego journey. But uh, sometimes it's just more fun building Lego and living life than sitting down and editing Lego. Don't get me wrong, I like to edit. It's a fun passion I like to do for sure. That's why I'm doing this. So we'll try to edit this video from February 22nd. A lot more things happen. The kids and I immediately took over those speed champions and built them right away. Those things are fantastic. All of them have great part usage and are able to achieve some amazing shapes. A lot of you guys know I'm a sucker for Lego ideas, especially any sets that could be incorporated into the city. So as soon as the Speed Champions were finished, I got right to work on that A-frame cabin. This idea set is up there with being one of the most beautiful sets in the Lego lineup. The designer did a great job creating a building out of Lego that looks like it belongs in the real world. Even the trees are a neat design that I haven't seen before. With all the parts available, designers are getting more and more creative with common designs like trees. Also, I learned after completing this set, this was the only one that Ashley was interested in building in a while. Oops. Here's a pro tip when holding the A-frame cabin. Don't hold it from the top. Because it'll fall. As I shared in part one with Santa's nice list, our brood is quite large. So I had a little procedure done on Friday morning. And if you know, you know. And during my recovery, I did a lot of Lego building. In fact, I built with some buds that evening on Building with Buds. Another great stream I was able to be a part of this week, hosted by Kevin, the brick building biker, and Tanner, and usually Eric. However, my last few appearances, I've been joined with the great Rick Brickham. It's always great to build and chat with fellas from across the world. Did I say across the world? because the very next day, I was joined by one of those fellas. So this is my Lego room is, and oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Yes, guy, right off the bat. There you go, the Falcon, eh? Beauty. Oh, here we go. Hey, I know that guy. <laughs> all you guys and the girls. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a great time. We'll, we'll be doing that again or something yes, like that. For yes, sure. for sure. Oh, my word. Yeah, man, take it all in. Oh, there's your car. Put it on top of Oh, yeah. Just get out of the way there. Here it is, here. You have one of my white whales. Oh, that's a house? Oh, no, the haunted house. Yeah. Yeah. No, dude, I got that for $300. Oh, yeah, okay. you told me that. It was a great deal. Um, I don't tell them. They're all basically the same. Like, yeah, it's different. It's the top basically. This is amazing. Yeah. Wow. All oh, the turtle, the the turtle shell at the back is so. Cool. Oh yeah, no, really cool technique to getting that. I love that. Um, and then, do you know um, the brick shelf in, uh, in uh, I do. Australia? There, yeah, I do. He took these and uh, he modified the, the ankles, I believe, okay. and the wrists. Yep. So awesome, man. Yeah, man. There you go. I did. There's the. Uh, I just finished the uh, A cabin or the A frame cabin. I'll turn this off now. I just. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. So this was the very first time that Rick was coming over to see my Lego collection in person. It was a great time. We spent a lot of time talking about Lego and going through a bunch of my Lego collection that you don't get to see on display. The more rare and uncommon sets. I also showed him around my town a little bit and we enjoyed a beer at one of the local bars. And we finished off the evening with a live stream where we built and chatted with fellow AFOLs online. Overall, it was a great time and I look forward to more. And then the very next day, another distraction from editing came. A package that we ordered back in December, the Mighty Bowser arrived. 
And when the kids saw that, they were all ecstatic. They've all been playing Mario Party lately on the Switch, and so I think that's one of the reasons why they're really excited to see the Mighty Bowser, and especially how large it was. The kids were excited so much that we actually sat down and built that entire 2800 piece set in two days. It was a blast to enjoy the time together. The Mighty Bowser set is a behemoth, which is gonna take up a lot of shelf space. These large Nintendo sets are amazing, all the way from the NES console to the N64 question mark block. I hope they keep them coming. Only issue is they're large and take up a lot of space. So I'm gonna have to address my shelving space soon, but that's gonna be future Andrew's problems. And then before I could get back to editing, I had to finish that Galaxy Explorer that I started when I was bricking with Rick the other day. The Galaxy Explorer is a very iconic set that has sparked the memories of the old space theme. They did a great job capturing the old looks with completely new techniques and pieces. I'm impressed most with the outside design of the ship. The outer ship is only five plates thick and maintains its strength. This set may need to get its own display stand eventually. I like the idea of keeping it dust free. Once again, making future Andrews shelving area an issue. One more project that I've taken on that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in a future video is my A full streaming guide. This is where I take the next week's scheduled streams from all platforms and put them into one convenient place for everyone to see and share. So with all that stuff out of the way, I was able to get back to editing and sharing these awesome sets with you guys. So thank you very much for watching this video and take care. I just finished the uh, A cabin or the A frame cabin. You're all turning this off now. I just <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.